Hello everyone, it is Malachi with Cosplay Powers, and today I'm going to show you how to edit a Gambit photo. Let's begin. Alright, so let's go ahead and add the clean plate, and then we're going to add Gambit to this. This, this tutorial is going to move a little bit slower, because uh, there's a lot of things I'll be covering this. All right, so let's add Force FX2, and we're gonna add this explosion to the card. We don't wanna use fire for this, because it's like kinetic energy, so it works a little bit differently. So I'm gonna add this to the card here, and then we're going to change the color, give it that purplish color there. Um, again, keep in mind that these edits, you don't have to be Gambit. To do these edits um, you can be any character that deals with fire or colored fire and things like that this is just a x-men series but these principles can be applied to anything so that gives a little bit of a fade like you can see through the card a little bit too still i want to be able to see the, the clubs symbol all right now what we're going to do here is do i want to use this here nah See, that's going to, I don't think that's going to work. And another thing, the, the cool thing, the reason why I wanted to show you this, and I didn't want to cut this part out, is you have to experiment with this stuff. So you got to do a lot of experimenting. Um, I've been compositing for like, shoot, like 20 years now. And I still experiment. I feel like a scientist when I'm doing compositing. You never know what you're going to end up with. You have an idea, but it definitely takes a lot of experimenting. So I'm adding the force FX. I've added the uh, the orb here for the eye. You've seen me do this <clears throat> quite a few times now with the verbal, with the pupils. I'm going to take the uh, saturation and the hue, ingest it so it matches the colors and the image. So it's a basic color grading. And then um, I'm going to duplicate it to increase the intensity. And then we're going to just move this over and then duplicate it. Perfect. All right, so we're almost done, but not quite. What else can we add to this? What else you guys want me to add? I know. Let's add, let's add another glow. A lens, let's see, yeah, another lens flare. Let's change the color to match what's happening but right there yeah, that's, that's Gucci and uh, let's see um I'm trying to think I feel like this doesn't have enough happening yet let's add yeah let's add light looks there we go we want this to pop more so we want the environment to have more of a energy higher energy in the environment so it's going to be pretty bright you got a lot of stuff happening so we got to affect the lighting another thing i want to add is a lens another lens flare camera lens flare so i believe that's going to be under glow no it's not or like no it's not going to be there all right so we're going to go back to glows there we go and then we're going to pull this one. Yeah. Now that's where the money is right there. But we got to change the color because there's nothing in the image that's blue. So we got to give it back to that uh, purplish red color there. Yeah. More purple, if anything. Lavender, if you will. I think we're done. What do you guys think? Should we add something else? Hmm. I know we're missing. We need to add some movement to this image. So let's do that really quick. So I'm going to make his hand move a little bit, but we don't want anything else in the image to be affected. And honestly, if I had more time, I would have uh, I would have taken away this hand and made it its own layer, the one that's closer that's pointing towards the camera, and then just uh, have that hand by itself moving. It would look better because the chest wouldn't be moving with the hand. Uh, same thing with this other hand. I would have the card and the hand separate. But for the sake of time, uh, this works. So we're going to animate the jacket too. That's what I'm doing right now. So now we have the jacket moving, got the hand moving. But when you're doing these levels of movement on the body, 
you definitely want to break your image down into layers with alpha channels. So you have the hand, maybe you have a piece of the jacket, you have the other hand, you have the card, and then if you want to move the head, but you don't want the rest of the body to move, you'd have the head by itself. Um, and then you actually, some of this you can do right on the app by using the masking, but some of this you would have to put in Photoshop and break it apart. Uh, I will probably do more stuff like that in the future, more advanced uh, edits. I'll probably do more advanced edits in the future where I will break the image down to like five to eight different pieces that can be consolidated into Wordle and moved around to create some amazing uh, movements with the characters. We'll probably call that the pause section. But uh, yeah, this is it. This is the end. This is the basics, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too challenging. And i uh, love to see you guys make some awesome things. I would love to like premiere that stuff on my Instagram. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. I check all my messages. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. And yeah, see you in the next video, folks.